since we're talking about wide receivers uh, with San Francisco, Ricky Pearsall, the the Florida receiver, who it'd be a shock. I mean, not a shock. It'd be a little bit of a surprise here. I mean, he was like definitely a further down the stack type of guy, but insane athleticism. He had that one handed catch was probably the single best catch in all of. I mean, for it's been years. Yeah. Some anyone's made a catch like that, right? I love Ricky Pearsall. By the way, that guy is he's a dude. Uh, he can run routes, extremely precise, and a freak athlete too. It, it, people think, oh. He, a little white receiver. No, he, he's like a freak no, athlete. No, he he is not a little. Whoa. Oh, listen, whoa, whoa, whoa. what? I mean, people. Say, yeah. <laughs> people do say they see the white <laughs> slot receiver and they're like, oh, he's a little. He's another Wes Welker or something like that. But no, this guy's like a downfield player. So hey, listen, you said it, not me. And, and I honestly, did say it. I will say it again. And honestly, Matt, sixty-five catches at Florida last year is far more impressive than you'd think. That was oh, not yeah. an offense no. really. Clicking. Oh God, yeah. So here's the crazy thing about Pearsall, though, when we talk about the stack, right? Those 12 teams, third round guy, like like fringe second to the top of the third. But he is also that guy when you look at the traits, the athleticism, the things yeah. that he I, – I guarantee you but, there's a projection involved here where you're like – These are some of these guys we talked about. Sorry, Fitz, but you're going to leave – you're going to leave Troy Franklin, Keon Coleman, yeah. Jalen Polk. I, I have Pearsall ranked Lad, ahead of Lad all those McCon- guys. You do. I have Pearsall ranked ahead of all of those guys. One McConkey. spot ahead of Lad. And I think Gorney makes a really important point. That offense was just garbage not good. this yeah, year. Not good. And so his production in that offense uh, it deserves a little bit of a, a silver medal or something like. Yeah. So again, of all the prospects I charted this year, number one success rate versus man coverage was was Roma Dunze. Number two was Ricky Pearsall. Mm. This is a guy who knows how to get himself open. He's a precise player. I think he's probably best as a flanker slot, but you do get some glimpses of him playing X receiver. Um, I don't know if this signals like an Ayuk trade, right? Potentially. I, uh, that I come on, man. I, to, to us, right? We just talked about it. like, well, the, you would pad the potential trade of Ayuk. With a, with a wide receiver selection, with a wide receiver. right? What, what yeah. if they end up trading Debo? Lord have mercy. 